Hey, can you help me out of this labyrinth? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need help out of this labyrinth. Oh, well, don't go that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful. We love Beautiful. that. We brought the energy. Clearly. We love that. Um, what's going on, everyone? What's going on, um, fans of Pim- Millennial Movie Talk After Dark? I'm Christian. This is... Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> and, and we're here after dark. <laughs> and we watched Labyrinth. Oh, we watched Labyrinth. Alex right. sent me through the labyrinth that is... I did Labyrinth. <laughs> labyrinth. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is definitely... We've spoken about it on the show before. I actually didn't get to talk about it when we did Labyrinth on the show. Okay. I brought it up for homework and I wanted them to watch it for homework. Yeah. But it was an episode we did when these lights rocked up halfway through the episode. They came in the mail. Okay. And instead yep. of me sitting and doing the rest of the episode, I thought, I'll let them talk about Labyrinth. I'll just set up the lights. A bit. A little so, bit of MMT. Uh, yeah. Behind the scenes. So I didn't get to talk about Labyrinth <laughs> and I'm happy to be on this special episode of After Dark to talk about Labyrinth. Yeah. Now. And somehow Labyrinth passed me by yeah, my entire life. Yeah, you missed Labyrinth. So, uh, yeah, yeah. What, what was your first like initial reaction with Labyrinth before I get well, into mine? All I knew was the cover with David Bowie on it. Yeah. So <laughs> I went in. I think I messaged you. Oh, you did? My reactions. Maybe you should look for that. Yeah, I'll get them. But... um. I mean, going in, I I knew nothing except there's going to be Bowie. <laughs> so it's eight, 1986. Yep. David and Bowie. What's the girl's name? Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer Connelly. We like Jennifer Connelly. Jim, Jim um, Henson directed. So yep. he's a guy that does all the Muppets and the puppets. Yep. Uh, so obviously the, the puppets, the first it's, showing of the puppets is just randomly when she's just like, I I wish oh, and that like, someone oh, would take my say, brother away. Say, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you get puppets. puppets. And yeah. I, I didn't Did know, know they were puppets? coming. Hey. No. And, and just, oh, she almost said it. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then, obviously, we get introduced to the Goblin King. Jareth. Takes the baby. We love Jareth. Jareth. Couldn't, be Couldn't be Jared. Couldn't be Jared. I mean, to be Jared. I think Jared is a bit problematic. <laughs> oh, Jared is very problematic. Jared is, and it's David Bowie too. It's it's David Bowie and he's a bit creepy, but it's it's Bowie though. It's it's before creepiness got a bad name. <laughs> I'm just trying to find our messages here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it shouldn't be that far back. But um, yeah, we meet Bowie and we're introduced to this world just out of nowhere. We're in this world. There's a goblin city. There's a okay. There's a goblin city. There's a goblin castle. Yep. There's Bowie. There's a labyrinth. There's a labyrinth. There's <laughs> quite a labyrinth. A quite yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part of the labyrinth is that there's a big labyrinth in general, but inside the labyrinth, there's a bunch of mini labyrinths. Yes. Every corner is a new labyrinth yeah. within the labyrinth, and like it's not just a maze. Yeah. It's an inception <laughs> joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of me trying to make one. Uh. So I've got some messages from Chris here. Okay. So this is my and uh. Just so going in. I just get whoa. <laughs> labyrinth intro is banging. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. We like the labyrinth intro, the CGI hour. And you're like, yeah, I'm my man Bowie. We do like that. Yeah. That was, it, it was all going normal. All well. And then uh, just goblins? <laughs> question mark. <laughs> goblins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it was going to be goblins. Yeah. And then, I mean, if you're going to cast Bowie, Bowie as a goblin king, why shouldn't they have a big musical number? Yeah, that's the yeah. big goblin king song at the start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then about an hour later, I reckon... No, half an hour later, I messaged you saying, I'm too scared to ask. <laughs> you yeah, because I went silent. Yeah, and you're just like, I'm on an adventure, Alex. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, just realizing the girl on the train, the, uh, this girl is the girl from Snowpiercer. Yes. Um, what's her name again? Uh, Jennifer Connolly. Christian can't remember her name. Uh, Jennifer Connolly, I know from Snowpiercer. Yeah. And I realized halfway through the movie, which is funny as well. And then it's... <laughs> and then it's, if this is all just a dream, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, I was, I would have been, but it wasn't. Yeah. but it kind of might it have been. Maybe. I, it might be. They but linger it, in the air. It it's like the end of Inception, show. where it's like, is he in a dream? Yeah. Um, and then I think a wedding is happening, but I don't really know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, all I can, like, the most positive things I can say about Labyrinth is, um, like, I wish I saw it as a kid yeah. because they create this world and these characters and. It's just weird. It it comes out of no like lore. It's no, just it's there's just goblins, there's guy. a town, there's Bowie. Like we don't, you know, this completely fresh world, and somehow you take it takes you in and you're charmed by yeah. it, and you kind of like immersed in this in this world that makes no sense. And it's it's a it's an adventure. That's all it is. So I watched Labyrinth at my nan and pop's house 
when I was a kid because yep. they had Foxtel, but they had every, all Foxtel, they had the Foxtel movies. So yep. when you went to my nan and pop's house, you're having a good time because you're going, we watch Foxtel movies. Oh yeah, we love it. And uh, my sister and I watched Labyrinth and I remember not sleeping for two nights straight after watching it. Um, and that traumatized me. But ever since then, I was intrigued. Like yep. it scared me, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. <laughs> so over the years, I would rewatch Labyrinth again and again and again. And it's just a film that I, I, I watch easily once a year. Yep. Um, it's purely nostalgia driven. Yeah. Um, and also the love of just the puppets <laughs> and like, yeah. and, and the fact that 95% of it still hold up, like the worst parts of the film are the CGI. Yeah, for sure. Um, like the CGI owl the and dance some numbers. Things. Yeah. The dance numbers, but, um, like just the puppets they do like Hoggle as a puppet himself has so many animatronics just well, in like his head. Charm. It's just, it's charm. just charming. It's so charming. charming. If, and if, this film, <laughs> if this film wasn't charming, it would not work. No, of course not. But Because like, you look at it and you go, what's the plot? Her her, her stepbrother yeah. gets kidnapped. Her bro- half-brother gets kidnapped. That's what I mean, though. This yeah. world isn't grounded in anything. No. And it has no background. There's, there's no explanation it has for no right how these... to be as good as it is. Yeah, it has no explanation for how these characters... And Are these there. creatures exist, coexist in this world of the go- with the goblins and the Goblin King, <laughs> you know. We just get thrown in like she does. Yeah, we're thrown in like she does, and yeah, straight away, like it's just I, I'm going to say charming a bunch of times. I had a feeling <laughs> that this was based off of something, but it's it's not. Okay, it's not. Yeah, and it, I just I love the worm off the bat. The worm from the start the hello. first time. Yeah, hello, and then it's um. <laughs> tells, her, tells her where to go. Yeah. Sends her right. Like, oh, no, don't go that way. <laughs> you don't want to go that way. Right at the start of the don't movie. Don't go that way. If she'd have gone that way, she'd have gone to that castle. <laughs> <laughs> Just like entire. But you know what? If she'd have gone straight to the castle, she wouldn't, wouldn't have met all her friends we'll, along the way. No Ludo. Yep. I always forget the name of the, the rat. So thing. actually, the worm actually helped her the most. Because mm. if she went straight to the castle, she probably would have failed. The worm's oh, a dream hero. I just got the it. Labyrinth. The worm's she the needed, hero. She needed help with the labyrinth and her friends yeah. got her through it. So like the main standouts for the film to me, obviously like if we're just talking purely like coolness, yep. is is the helping hand scene maybe one of the greatest puppet without using puppet scenes yeah. in history. Because it's, it's so it's creepy for a second. Too. It's like, oh, like, oh no, it's like taking him down to hell or something. Yeah. Um, and then they're helping hands. Yeah. And, and then they're like, ha- like, they're like a, um, a warming presence. Yeah. Cause they're like, they're just helpful. And like the <laughs> fact that they, like a bunch of hands come together to make a face and they start talking. Yeah. But that is incredible. I also love. That's great reason. use of the puppetry. Yeah. Like you're saying. Yeah. Um, and, and for some reason she just wants to keep going down instead of going up, back up. Yeah. Which I've always found weird, but like. Why not? I did find it weird at the time, but yeah. I was like, because she fell, but there was still like a way to go. Yeah. 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 So I was like, oh, she'll continue on the way. And then I was like, oh yeah, but this, it makes sense because that's the whole thing. This isn't a horror pit of death. No. It's the helping hand. And this is also so like. They were taking her down. Yeah. Yeah. For a kid's movie, it's pretty dark as well. Yeah. I like, can see that. You've got the, um, the orange. I understand why young Alex is scared. Yeah. Because you've got the little orange creatures that just want to decapitate her at one point. Yeah. And like they cut start throwing her th- her, their heads at her and saying, give us your head and stuff, which is creepy in itself. Um, the doors are great. The doors, yes. Doors, and there's one on the bottom, one on top. <laughs> yeah. We love the doors. Um, I was just thinking about, oh, the other doors as well with the knockers. Oh, true. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. The one that doesn't want to put it back in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the way they showed with those. Oh, the darkness, sorry. Like, I didn't see it as... Like, I didn't think, oh, this would have been scary as a kid. But as soon as you mentioned that, I was like, okay, I, yeah, I can see this yeah. being... Because the uneasy kind of dark darkness, yeah. for me, it's just like, what, what is going on? I don't understand the tone. And like, but for a kid, it's like, that would be scary and like yeah. unknown, yeah. And even when you're a kid, Ludo himself, the big orange man, yep. he's such a warming presence because he's yep. so sweet. He's just a gentle giant. But when he gets... I, I, like I haven't, I watched the film earlier this year because we did it for the podcast or last year. Mm. And there's a scene where like he gets hurt and he he like disappears for a, a part of the film. Yeah, I remember when that scene happened in the film. I was just like a part of me being traumatized. I'm going <laughs> to say, where it was just watching him get hurt, and I was like, "Don't hurt Ludo." And Ludo. Why yeah. is Ludo getting hurt? Um, 
He was like, what has Lulu done to anyone? Yeah. It's not nice. It's not nice. Um, Look, Jennifer Connelly, one of her first films. Okay. Not, yep. not a great actress, isn't it? I mean, she's serviceable. what more was she going to do? Yeah. I mean, especially if it is one of her first, which now I have a feeling it might not be. Yeah. We'll I find think, out. Honestly, I didn't think she was a bad... She's talking to nothing for act- most of the film. Yeah. Like, what... what what was lacking in her performance? Yeah. Like, not really anything. Like, like yeah. Hoggle, Hoggle was real and Hoggle was on set with her. Yeah. But like, like the worm, that wasn't there. Yep. Um, and all that. I'm just trying to find out if it yeah, was Yeah, but that's film. what I mean. Like, those conversations are so empty anyway. I don't know how. She, yeah, like, exactly. Literally, she says to the worm, like, thank you. You've been very helpful. Like, what else is she going to do with that? It was, <laughs> yeah. It was her first starring role in a film. Okay. So. Well, Good job. She did fun. Yeah. Uh, She's come a long way to Snowpiercer now. Yeah. Bowie. Bowie. Bowie's great in what they, in the movie needs Bowie to do. It's, he's not acting. No, he's not. He's just <laughs> he's David just Bowie. Singing and he, he's singing. He's got a Bowie. big old bulge and yep. they don't hold it. No, they don't hold back it. on the bulge. No one does hold it too. No. Yeah. We get all bulge. Um, yep. Yeah. Very. You get the full Bowie. Full bulge. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be, I would, I would absolutely hate myself if we went through this review without talking about Quite possibly one of my all-time favorite movie songs, which is Dance Magic, which is David Bowie's one where he's got the baby with the goblins and he's throwing the baby up in the air and they're all singing. He's like, dance, dance, magic, dance. Great song. Yep. It's not only... It's one of my favorite David Bowie songs in general. Okay. Yep. Interesting. And you know how many hits that guy has. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I'm aware. (laughs) (laughs) You know, he's not just an actor, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Um. But yeah, no, like, I mean, look, is the film a great film? No. No, but it's one of those where, like, you kind of, you have to see it at some point. Yeah, everyone's got to see it. Yeah. And, like, you feel bad trying to, like, like, criticize or, like, say it sucks. Because it, because for what the film is going for, it succeeds. What were they going for? It's like, let's make a crazy adventure with a bunch of... Puppets. Really weird puppets, yeah. like crazy. Jim Henson just wanted to be like, like oh, I want to make a, I want to make a movie and throw all the puppets into it. Like these people were very passionate about these puppets. Yeah, they're, they're like, they were very, very well made puppets. Yeah, exactly. You know? it, yeah, yeah. Like when you I got, can see a lot of those like ones at the end being creepy, like the knights riding yeah. on the goblin things. Yeah. Okay, I could see being scared of that those, stuff. Those were creepy, and yeah. the big metal um thing guarding the gate. Yeah, that's also scary. But like, I mean, uh, you look back at it now. Yes, are some of the puppets clearly stuffed animals? Obviously, yep. but all, like, of the, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you get that and then you just get like, I keep talking about Hoggle, but Hoggle was such like an amazing animatronic and puppet because yep. he was, he was there on set. Like he acted with and was there with Jennifer Connelly while they're yep. doing things. He's real. And like, just the way that they nail the expressions on him, it's just like something that as a kid, I went, oh, he's a bit creepy looking, and but he's like a character in a film. Mm. And as I get older, I'm like, they've like the fact that this exists in a film. Like I've never, I still haven't seen anything like him. Yeah. Like with just with the amount of expressions they can use on his face, and like it just everything that he like a lot of puppets, they just they just that, and um, especially around in the eighties, this is like eighty six. So you mm. think about it, and you just go a lot of, like this is Sesame Street was happening. And like those have barely any expressions. But you got Hoggle, which like almost every part of his face just moves with him and he's yeah. talking, which is just incredible. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even think of these also being animatronics because obviously yeah. a lot of them are just like sock puppets, you know, yeah. just a hand. But yeah, there's some like lots of cool yeah, little lots puppets. Of cool. <laughs> lots of cool little puppets. It's a triumph in puppets, Chris. A triumph in, in puppets. puppets. <laughs> I don't think there's much else I could say about it. Um, no, it like yeah, it's, I mean, it doesn't run too deep. Obviously, I no, mean it, it does though. Yeah, deep into the labyrinth. Into the labyrinth, <laughs> we go. Uh, unfortunately, the review is not really a big labyrinth. No, of labyrinth. But like I said, I mean to me, I can't fairly rate it because I do love the film. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I'm rating it through a critic's eyes, it's a three, maybe out of five. Yep. yep. Um, it do- it it doesn't really all come together in the end. No. It just kind of ends. It ends. Yeah. yeah. You get David Bowie wanting to fuck her? Yeah, yeah. I think he wants to fuck her. Yeah. Well, he wants to marry her. It ends with them. Because he wants to rule her. Yeah. He says he wants to rule her. Yeah. And he wants her to fear him and love him. Yeah. Fear him and love him. <laughs> Which. Bit uh, weird. Do we cancel Bo- Goblin King Bowie? We can't. He's dead. Can we cancel he's him? 
Well, let's cancel Goblin King. They try- oh, okay, we can cancel. Just Goblin King. We can cancel Jareth. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, his name's Jareth. Jareth. Yeah, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> his name's like Jareth, and yeah. doesn't expect them to be. Okay. Yeah, another creepy. another Jareth. So yeah, it ends with just a montage. With Jareth. <laughs> yeah. Following her. <laughs> Following her in the impossible staircase. Yep. And then it just kind of ends. And then she says, Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight you on this a little bit. Yeah. Because we were kind of making a little bit of fun of her and watching the end of it. Yeah. She, throughout the film and early in the beginning of the film, she has a phrase that she needs to that she says. And even the beginning of the film, she goes, Why can I never remember it? And it's yep. what she has to say to him at the end to free her brother and get back home. Yeah, once she fights her yeah. way. And you can see in the end there, she like kind of forgets a bit. So it does come together from the beginning, but like it's very lackluster. Yeah. I agree. Well, the like, ending is just, yep, there. you did it. Okay. Yeah. Like I feel like <laughs> the ending is mainly that big battle scene before she gets into the castle. Yeah, pretty much. I feel yeah. like that's the climax and everything from there. While we still have some left to go and we haven't really resolved anything after that. It's not as interesting. It never gets better than that scene. No, that's the climactic yeah. end here, for sure. Yeah. That's Labyrinth, really. Yeah. That's Speaking of climactic ends. <laughs> 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 that was Labyrinth. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>